about ready. you. Yeah. Okay. Good morning. <laughs> On behalf of Brian and Amanda, I'd like to welcome the invited guests unsuspecting guests to their <laughs> wedding. Um, I'd like to thank you for being here on this early morning, for taking the time, making the journey, not only to be a part of this day, to be a part of each other's lives. Thank you for bundling up, climbing into a basket propelled by hot air, and getting carried away with their love. Amanda and Brian have invited you here to share in a sense of their adventure as they celebrate their love. I hope you're not afraid of heights. <laughs> some dramatic effect. Uh, so I'm Carrie. So uh, I met Brian and Amanda where they fell in love uh, at Al Udid Air Base in Qatar. <laughs> um, the most romantic. Yeah, it's a great place. Uh, so we spent many beautiful days together, uh, not like this one. Uh, going to the flight line gym, eating Indian food, and then uh, importantly, walking around in air-conditioned shopping malls. So uh, as you can imagine, their courtship was just as intense as this is. Uh, just ask them about the time they got caught making out in a stairwell of a parking garage in downtown Doha. Uh, yeah, actually illegal. Um, so, so, while there's no shortage of examples, the story that emulates their continual commitment to making each other feel loved is from my last New Year's Eve. So, Brian and Amanda arranged a secret Santa and white elephant gift exchange for uh, 15 of their friends at the St. Regis in Doha to make sure that they could have a wonderful evening together. An evening that involved more than drinking three beers in 115 <laughs> degree heat underneath the rock. <laughs> With the help of a male friend, uh, Brian reserved an opulent suite for the two of them to get around the antiquated law of saving them. Unmarried men and women can share a hotel room together. <laughs> Thankfully after today, that won't be a problem. You know, you guys want to go back. <laughs> They spent the rest of the evening together. Ever the romantics, of course, they ordered a bottle of champagne from room service, <laughs> and then either being swept away in the moment or just being bad at currency conversions, they ended up with a thousand dollar bottle of champagne. <laughs> Unsurprisingly, wow. these two enjoyed their thousand dollar bottle of champagne in a Middle Eastern country where they weren't even legally allowed to spend the night together. <laughs> so may the same sense of adventure that brought you to celebrate your love in the most unexpected place lead you to embrace this lifelong journey of marriage. So, before this moment, the two of you have been many things to one another. Friend, travel partner, teacher, coach, fiance. But now you shall say a few words that take you across the threshold of life. For after these vows you shall say to the world, this is my husband, this is my wife. When you love someone, you do not love them exactly the same way all the times. We insist on permanence, on duration, on continuity. But in love as in life, the only stability is in change in growth and in freedom, delicious ambiguity. Therefore, what you promise today must be renewed and reaffirmed tomorrow and all the tomorrows to come. A successful marriage is not simply an exchange of words and rings. It takes work. It takes patience. It takes time. It takes a commitment from both of you, a commitment to do whatever it takes to make your relationship thrive and not just simply survive. Brian. Stand by. wedded wife and travel the rest of life's journeys with her. Will you love her, laugh with her, maybe even at her, comfort her, honor and respect her, and forsaking all others, be faithful to her as long as you go to Shelda? Amanda, do you, having considered all these things, take Brian to be your lawfully wedded husband and travel the rest of life's journeys with him? Will you love him, laugh with him, definitely at him, comfort him, honor and respect him, forsaking all others, be faithful to him as long as he goes shelter. I do. Now please declare your wedding vows to each other. <laughs> Sorry! <laughs> 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 We're here.
dear. And we're doing this. Because you got nowhere else to go. The cornerstone of our relationship has been our love for adventure. We enjoy exploring and experiencing new things. From our first date at an Indian restaurant in Doha to a month-long trip to New Zealand, we have been on an adventure together. I vow to hold on to our adventure and we will never stop it. You have brought many new experiences to my life, from vegan food, cauliflower top, to hot yoga, which is sometimes easily confused with the seventh circle of hell. <laughs> You nudge me and sometimes shove me to try things I didn't think that I would like. I vow to keep an open mind and try to expand your horizons as you have expanded them. You are driven, focused, and much smarter than I am. I know I joke about bring, you bringing home the bacon so I can eat the bacon, <laughs> but I pledge to you my support, encouragement, humility, and to help you reach your goals and dreams. I see you and will always treat you as an equal. I will stand beside you in life, never in front of you. You hate when I tease you about being delicate. Stand by. Okay. You hate when I tease you about being delicate. The truth is, you know strength and resilience I may never comprehend. Still, I promise you this. I will always protect you. I will always keep you safe. I will get you eye drops in the mornings and band-aids for your feet. I will hold you when you're hurt and listen to you when you're upset. Our marriage may not always be easy or perfect. Our first year will be largely spent on separate comments. We will have disagreements and arguments, and sometimes we won't like them. But I will never give up on us. I will always try to make us better, bring us closer, and keep our union. You are my person, my partner in life. You will hey, take a break just a second, look over here. That's why I had to burn. Sorry. Sorry! Continue, sir. You are my person and my partner in life. You will always be beautiful. Whether you look you will never look hopeless. You are the only woman for me, and I will honor you and be faithful to you always. With this ring, I vow to put you first. <laughs> With this ring, <laughs> I vow to put you first to try new things, to try and bring you a life of happiness yes, and life. To always be there for you, to be yours and yours alone, and to love you with all that I am. If you asked me when I climbed onto that ridiculously hot bus in Qatar, if I could imagine myself standing here today in front of you, promising to forever, I'd never believe it, believe it, but I'm so thrilled that I am. You really surprised me. For as tall and aggressive your Johnny Bravo hair is, you certainly cannot handle a tiny nibble of hot pepper. <laughs> Evident from your 20-minute public ugly crying session at the Seuss. It was really hot. I guess we can say you're sensitive, sensitive, sensitive enough to cry on the first date. You really knew how to win my heart in the beginning. Indian food will make me do just about anything. Even kiss you in a public stairway in the middle of a country that is borderline Sharia law. Much to Carrie's disappointment, we didn't always get away with it either. Like that time we were almost hauled away from holding hands at the Museum of Islamic Art. Between, <laughs> between that and my reputation of epically poor air travel to include Iraq, the Middle East sure tried to keep us apart, but couldn't stop us from falling.